I want to cry right now. I'm just really disappointed in just people in general. Like, I don't know if it's me, maybe it is me, and I'm sure some of you guys will say so, but just the amount of times I've gotten taken advantage of within the past like month is actually insane. And you guys can say, oh, you're naive or this or that, but it shouldn't be this way. Like, I'm trusting people on their words. I shouldn't be wronged for doing, I, would, I shouldn't be criticized for doing that. I want to believe that people and businesses and establishments are good, especially whenever they have good reviews and stuff like that. So I took my truck in to the dealership. I was going to use my warranty like the dealership that sold to me said I should use. I paid $2,000 for and I didn't research the warranty while I was there because obviously when you're buying a vehicle, there's a lot going on. And they insisted that this would be a great choice. And I could get all the issues fixed, use the warranty for that. So I tried to use that warranty for the issues in the truck. And they denied my claim and said I was not able to use the warranty for any repairs. It was exactly what I thought that it was. The wheel bearing needs replaced. And they charged me $130 to check that out, which I, there's nothing against this garage. The garage is fine. Um, it's just the dealership and the warranty. And then I tried to call the dealership like three different times. I'm going to try maybe tomorrow or something to call with a different number. But either way, I shouldn't have to deal with this confrontation. Like, this is awkward. Like, I want to cancel my warranty. And the whole camper thing, just like so much. Like, the warranty is shit. The dealership is shit. The camper is shit. And I'm feeling really deflated. Everything's going to work out in the end. But I just need to vent because, you know, I'm, a, I'm alone a lot of the time. I'm just feeling like very little reward for the amount of stuff that I'm you know, put up with right now. And I just, I don't like how humans are so unreliable. And they have just proven this so many times. I don't want to believe that. I shouldn't be wrong for trusting people. I've thrown away so much money that I don't have to throw away on these people who just don't care. I don't even know how you sleep at night. Very, 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 very hot today, and it's so right in direct sunlight. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria Rose, and we are finally getting the panels on this roof. I've had a lot of issues with a lot of different things. Finally finished the frame. It is finally time to put on the panels with the inspection. It did not pass inspection my truck and the cost to fix everything in total with the ABS light. That was also the problem I originally took it in for. The total came out to 1500 no, $1,600. And I did not expect that. I expected $75 for the inspection. That really sucks. I just said, go ahead and just do it. I did, I did talk them down a bit for some things because I know pretty much the pricings of all those things. I know a lot of you guys in the comments will be like, you got ripped off again. It's the mechanics. You pay for the labor. With all this that I'm working on, I can't, I don't mean, I can't. Hopefully after this, everything will be okay. But I just need to get it all out of the way, even though it's really, really, really frustrating. Uh, my truck is still in the shop. <laughs> um, they were supposed to have it done yesterday, but they were having problems with something, so it's not, so I have to drive my mom's car still. But I'm going to get my dreadlocks done, finally. Uh, my hair has been driving me crazy for a while now, like the orange ends and stuff, but I brushed these out so I could get the extensions. So I'm gonna go um, to a lady who does dreadlocks, and I'll put her link below if you guys are around the Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh area, and see what happens. I've, um, very, I, I, I've, I never have people like touch my hair. I haven't had anything done to my hair, you know, from anyone else since I like got dreadlocks because I always do everything myself. So this will be an interesting adventure and so, yeah, just try something new. Anyways, I hope that you guys don't find this boring. I know it's a little break from the camper, but we do have to take breaks from that camper 
it's been raining, so I haven't been able to work on it. So we're gonna do this, and then hopefully after this, we'll have another camper fixing session. <laughs> locks installed it took nine hours and the lady is lovely I'm gonna link her links below if you're in the Pittsburgh area and want locks we're gonna do the reveal now <laughs> I feel so different like this is such a different vibe I, I feel like a princess I haven't had this type of hair for a very long time, if ever. I did used to have long pink locks, but it's different than this. This is open-ended. So yeah, that's my new hair. So different. Just gonna give you a back view. It's real hair, and you can tell where it was, you know, obviously connected to my other dreads, but that's kind of inevitable and it turned out like even better than I thought that it would. So they're pretty stiff right now, but they'll soften up. Hopefully they last a long time because there was a lot of sitting for this. I needed that. Like I really needed the change and I'm very happy with it. So it feels more fitting, I think. And now I'm still waiting for my truck. It was supposed to be done two days ago. At least my hair turned out good, right? Onwards. <laughs> hair back because I don't want to get stuff all over it and it's not too heavy it's nice and then I got my my tool belts for my wish list oh look up whenever we left the roof covered somehow water got in underneath the tarp and swelled it up I'm so sick of water damage it's so frustrating I just really want to get this thing turned over so we don't have to worry about any more water getting in because there's a lot of work to be undone by about water. So I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments on this on the liquid nails usage, but whatever. It failed, it failed miserably. So the paneling idea did not work. I'm gonna have to paint it or something. It's gonna be, I'm gonna deal with it later because it's so much work just, just fell right off. Just like, I don't think this panel, I don't think any type of paneling would have held. You live and learn, our mistake, whatever. This isn't, there's no guidebook on how to do this. So I'm thinking of ideas of how to fix this, but in the end, it doesn't ruin the functionality of it. It just looks terrible. And I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. Comment some suggestions below. Do not berate me. Just comment ways to cover this up in an easy manner. <laughs> it took so long to do. It's very expensive. We still have the middle one, kind of. That one thought well. And to be fair, I don't think it's even just the glue that we use. I think it's the paneling as well because it's it just did not hold. I don't think it would matter what kind of glue. It's not my fault. <laughs> don't yell at me. We got everything else like, screwed in and stuff. I'm never doing this again and I don't recommend anyone ever do this. I, I wouldn't worse, wish this on my worst enemy. No, you know, I would wish this on the guy who sold it to me, but <laughs> utter disappointment. We did turn it over though, so. Obviously, the parts that would be fun for me for working on the camper are not, not the things that we've been doing for the past over a month now. I don't even know how long it's been. So I wanted to try out this paint that I got from my wish list. Um, I'm not going to put these cupboards back on the ceiling because I don't, I don't want to add any extra weight. Because this is the material of all the, the cupboards in there, I want to just see how this paint works to see if 
you know, it primes and stuff like it says it should. When you open it up, it's um, like chalky paint. I also got wax to go over top of it, but I want to accent in green, make this kind of adventure themed and have the rest white. But I wanted to really try this paint out. And since the roof still needs to be put on back on top, I need to do just have some creativity. I'm so excited to get into the actual decorating part of this whole thing. I'm telling you, my stamina for this roof is gone. I'm loving my new hair though. I think it's perfect. I'll probably need two coats. I'm not even good at painting things. It's not that serious. <laughs> it does give it that kind of like rustic look. So I'm gonna use a mixture of white paint, this paint, and then some contact paper to make like a cool jungle looking vibe. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is actually painting them all white and then painting green on it because I don't know, the brown's showing through too much. Because my life is always on the go, I never really have time to decorate anything without having to leave soon after. So this will be a fun next segment if we ever get there. <laughs> need to face the fact that I'm never gonna have good lighting in these videos because I always do this midday. So I wanna give you an update on the whole truck situation. I got it back from the garage and I was so excited. All the lights were off, everything was working perfect. I know I had to spend $1,500, but finally it is all working great. Oh. Coming over here every single time, it's never like a good feeling because there's always something that is just wrong and just irreparable really. Like right now it's the, the crown, which we cannot fix. I and problem solving with this obviously like I'm going to figure out a different thing to glue to the top of the ceiling probably foam but now we have this terrible slope which probably happened whenever all the water damage happened I don't know but when you think about roofs you think about the shape of them for the water to drain off and this is bad shape but there's nothing we can do and I'm not doing anything more so in the end I'm just going to scrub the roof I'm going to seal it with um, glue waterproofing stuff so I'm going to clean it and I'm putting the bubble in and we're we're gonna be done with this thing and hopefully it lasts for an extended amount of time. It's caulked. We're gonna caulk it again and um done with it. in the corner hopefully we get it done soon what we've done so far is having to cut out as you can see the the bad boards which is it's just this corner fortunately like the rest of it is actually pretty solid so we're cutting and then custom making the wood for this and we're gonna screw that back in it's getting a lot coming over here all the time and it's just it's it's a lot for just me and my dad so I don't know that's the roof, it's all done. I go, went ahead and put a seal. I used this stuff from my wish list, which was too small, but I, I'm gonna reseal it again once we get it up and everything. And I did get a com um, maybe a comment or comments about the self-tap screws that we put in. They are too short, but they should last for a while. And if they do start to come up, I'll just replace them with different ones. It's trial and error. So I'm aware, but that is the bubble from my wish list that we put on. Looks quite nice. And as you see, it's kind of sunken in a bit, which is a problem for another day. Yes. Just being finished with this, it's giving me so much anxiety to just come over here and work on it, honestly. Like, yeah. Happy September. <laughs> Finally a day that we can maybe hopefully make some progress. We're gonna try and take this roof that we finally completed. We're gonna lift it up. I have my cousin here, my brother-in-law, my dad, and me. And hopefully it'll be a lot easier with four people instead of three. I don't know how still we're gonna get this back up. I'm nervous about it. We also fixed the corner, which took a lot of more custom cutting and work. So I'll show that to you as well. Even if the roof is a little caved in, it's not so terrible that it's gonna ruin everything. You know, this is the moment of truth. Will this roof fit back on? Because we did, we took the whole thing apart and we put it all back together and everything has to be exact in terms of measurements. So I'm really nervous. Let's see, it's my cousin. 
Alan, he actually is okay with being on camera, unlike everyone else. <laughs> Here we are, my home. That was really easy. Now what we're going to do is it perfect. Super lightweight now. Okay. Now, now the big thing is to put the metal bars on and um, see if all that fits properly. What we're doing right now is we, we got it up there and then we propped it up with lots of crates and we're trying to finagle everything in. We got to put these bars in perfectly and this is going to be the, the biggest struggle is trying to get it perfect so it's cranking it. So it's a moment of truth. We got the metal things up. Well, it's still not perfect. The crank mechanism's still messed up. So we're still having a pretty similar issue to where it collapses at a certain point and it's a bit hard, still hard turning up. So a lot of you guys suggested to use an impact drill, which I got one. And I might rig that up somehow later. At least we got the roof redone and put on there and it fits for the most part. But you know, with these things, it's one problem after another. So we'll figure it out. It's been hard. It's been really hard. It should have come out like that. Maybe because it was so hard for them, they, they ruined it. Yeah. But that should not be coming out like that, see? Don't baby, just it. And that's the roof, and that's how you do the roof. That's not how you do it. Don't do it that way. Don't get one of these if the roof is like this. Don't do it. This isn't even a how to a tutorial. This is a don't do that. <laughs> So before we end this video, I wanted to show some more things that you guys have gotten off my wish list. I haven't been doing a very good job of showing you guys. I'm eternally grateful every time I get something, especially the person who got me the torque lift camper tie downs, and I haven't even shown them yet. Now that we've gotten the roof on, it gives me, it feels, makes me feel more encouraged and start thinking about the actual fun stuff. I want to show you some of the things in my vision. I haven't opened this yet, but this is a little stuffed animal hammock. My goal is to kind of make this an adventure theme on the inside and as you can see now like the camper obviously doesn't look good but i'm going to show you kind of what i'm thinking about doing to the ceiling i want to put little nets up like um adventure style things but also for a purpose because i'm going to need a lot of storage so nets like this will be good for clothing and stuff like that i want to have plants so i got these off my wish list and they're self-watering there's three of them plant pots so you put this in and you have a little cord you put the plant in and it waters itself so you don't have to drain it out or anything and this this secures right to the wall so whenever i'm driving it's not going to like spill over so i'm going to be able to have the plants that will be so lovely accent lots of things with this contact paper someone also got me a my own caulking gun which is really exciting like <laughs> some lights as well which might might need to use those so for the ceiling i wanted to show you guys what i was thinking because it's so unsightly right now and i want you to know i'm i am trying to make a, a plan for this i got this just to see what it was like because it doesn't have a lot of reviews on amazon something like this is kind of hard to find and honestly way overpriced for what it is this is foam it's just styrofoam pieces i thought it was going to be like better than this this is 35 dollars for just this amount so i don't know if i'm going to go with this brand or not but this is what i was thinking it's very very lightweight and it says to get this type of glue this is power grab heavy duty loctite so hopefully this will work because i also got this off my wish list this i actually paid for myself because i wanted i need to i'm trying to research what the best way to cover up the ceiling would be cosplay foam i feel like it'd be cheaper and these are kind of cut in a way that's supposed to look like wood but these definitely don't look like wood <laughs> slats i'm telling you they're just yeah, they're just styrofoam pieces, way too overpriced. Again, thank you so much for the people who've got things on my wish list. You will see it at, at some point. It's just, I've been so busy trying to get the structural work done that 
I haven't been able to like show you guys the fun stuff. And this whole process has been so overwhelming and so discouraging in so many ways. My new goal and hopefully in the next video is to attach the tie downs onto my truck, put the, the camper back into my truck and bring the camper over to where I'm actually staying and start working on the inside, the fun stuff. Comment below what kind of stuff you guys want to see on the inside. If you guys are interested in like renovation stuff, what you're most interested in. If you were to look at a camper re renovation, I know no one's interested in like repairing an entire roof. I was not interested in that, but it's something I just, it took a long time to do and I had to do it. Yeah, I'm going to redo the kitchen, living room, bedroom, dining room. <laughs> There'll still be things that we needed to address with the structure, but I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer through this roof renovation. There's a lot of trial and error. There's still a lot of errors, but we're getting there very slowly. Anyhow, it's time to say goodbye for this video. Hopefully I'll have another video out next week. Stick to terrestrial. I'll see you in the next video and it'll be good, hopefully. Bye.